stuff you might find useful so feel free to browse everything look good here all right then everything look good all right then everything look good Great. it's all yours everything look good here Great. it's all yours Everything look good here? All right, then. That what you want? Take your time. What'd you bring? Wanna sell in bulk? All right, I'll take that. All done here? Come back soon.
art eye. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the hermit arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the hermit within thyself. I suppose not. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering personas? Will you register it to the compendium? I've completed registration. Now then, let's begin. Which will you choose? What personas come to be is a great joy of mine. This one is somewhat beneath you. Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive a fair amount of extra power. So it begins. Persona, yes? What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive a good amount of extra power. Well, well, well.
please take a look. Please take a look. So you'll be summoning this one? Very well, it's yours. Are you finished? We look forward to your next visit. I've been worried because you were sick so long. I ain't trying to nag, but don't take your health for granted. That special power of yours has been a huge boost to our strength. And it's no secret that Aki and Kirijo have their hands full with their own problems. Oh, you're back. Jeez, you've been picking up some weird stuff. You hungry or something? Fine. I'll fix you up a good meal when we get back. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. any more classes this afternoon. But that doesn't mean you're free to goof around. It's time to work together and put away the culture festival displays and decorations. I'll assign you into three groups for the cleanup. The first group will go to the science lab. Your leader will be... Okay, let's hurry up and get this over with. Roger that. Got it. Hmm, I guess this was the photography club's display. Look, I got a pretty good picture of you. Whoa, the guy who took first looks pretty suntan. That's Hayase. It's crazy fast. Of course, it's only a matter of time until I take him down. <laughs> You've already got him beat in the sweaty department. I swear, I've never seen you without your gym clothes. Then again, maybe you're the smart one here. Just walking around is enough to work up a sweat these days. Hey, you guys can jabber all you want, but at least keep things moving. At this rate, we'll be here all day. 
Uh, sorry, Takeba. My bad. Hey, he's got you all worked up. Nothing. Jeez. Yo, I brought the tools and stuff. The nail puller, tape, and, uh... If you require a drill, I have one installed. Cool. Thanks, guys. Wait, hang on. Where's the bubble wrap, Iori? Wrap? Oh, right. We gotta pack stuff up. Uh... Good call, man. You should go get it. You know where they keep that stuff, right? Well, yeah, but you're the one who forgot to grab it. Oh. Are you sure you don't want to go? That place is like a paradise, you know? Some fine chicas there would be just your type. Uh, what? No way. Are you serious? Give me the details, man. Ahem. I believe I asked you all to hurry it up so we could go home. Oh, uh, sorry, Yukatan. Man, talk about an ace directive. Jeez, how stupid can you be? Junpei? More like stupay. I'm getting deja vu. Fine, I'll go to the supply room later. Still, it's a real shame the culture festival fell through. There were so many cool events I was looking forward to, like the stand-up comedy duos. They said it was gonna be open mic, so I was planning on trying it out. Oh, really? With who? You. Hmm. Wait, me? You gonna just push me on stage without even saying anything? I'm just messing with you. It was actually Miyamoto. Who, me? Help. Just another joke. Chill out, guys. I'll do it with you then. Now that's the spirit. Why don't we show these guys what we've got? <clears throat> Hello out there, everyone. We're the famous comedy duo, Kenji Tomachika. Ooh, nice and snappy. You're pretty good. Man, I can't wait for the culture festival. It's gonna be awesome, huh? You're giving up already? All you gotta do is sleep like 360 more times and bam, culture festival. You know what they say, early to bed, early to rise. There you go, we got a top quality one this time. Kinda depressing, no? Hey, speaking of jokes, here's a good one. What do you do when your key isn't working? That's the lamest joke I've heard in years. Guess that's the best Gecko Khan has to offer. Hmm. Not bad, considering we didn't rehearse this at all. Man, we would have been great. All right, break it up, you guys. Seriously, I take my eyes off you for one second. Speaking of things that would have been great, you missed out on your chance to be a maid, Takebasan. Huh? Oh, so word got out about that. I, for one, am fine with missing that opportunity. Bet a lot of guys were real disappointed. Ain't that right, Miyamoto? Huh? Uh, how should I know? Wait, why are they disappointed? The maids are there to help at the cafe, right? Ah. Uh... Such a pure soul. Well, oh, it's kind of something that guys fantasize about. Mainly Junpei. Oh. What are you looking at me for? What did I do? Junpei-san. Oh, come on. You too, ai chan Excuse me, is Takeba-san here? Nishiwaki-san, what's up? You know those tents out on the field? Is it cool if we put them away in the archery club room? Oh yeah, that's fine. I 
Actually, don't worry about it. The archery team can take care of it later. Please, it's no biggie. Our class is in charge of cleaning up the grounds anyway. We'll go ahead and take care of it. Thanks. Oh! Are you feeling better? You had a fever, right? I heard you were stuck in bed the whole break. You sure you're okay? Just look at him. He's fine. I guess you have a point. Well, I'm happy to see that. Wait, you're here too, Cos? Better not be slacking off. An ox like you has got to pull his weight. Shut up. Is it the time you got back to the grounds? Hey, I haven't seen him in a while. So I think we deserve some time together. Right? You deserve some time together? Dude! Hey! Sorry, excuse me. Um, if you happen to have any duct tape left, may I borrow some? Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm actually in charge of the classroom next door, and we've run out of tape. I was nervous coming over here, since the upperclassmen were in charge of this room. But I feel a lot better seeing you here. <sighs> um, I saw Kirijo-senpai a moment ago, and she said... You were, um, bedridden with a cold? You shouldn't overstrain yourself. If you're not feeling well, perhaps you should take some time off from your student council duties. It'll be a little lonely no longer being able to walk home together, but... <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? Wait, what do you mean by... What exactly is your... That display over there looks like it can fall over any moment now. Someone's gonna get hurt if we don't fix it right now. Like, right now. Uh, Yukatan, come on and give me a hand. Uh, keep it steady on one side so I can take it down. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, gotcha. So, uh, what were we talking about again? Um, uh, oh yeah, uh, man, I almost forgot. There's something important the team needs to know. Hey, you're the manager, can you go tell him for me? Huh? Uh, so I want you to tell them for our next practice, uh, there are no towels a lot. Huh? No towels? Wouldn't that get in the way of practice? And why is this coming up now? Just go tell them. It's a special training technique. Come on, hop to it. Fine, whatever. Uh, yeah, sorry. Looks like we're all out of duct tape here. I guess you'd have to go to another classroom for that. I mean, you guys need it now, right? Oh, I see. Sorry for interrupting. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Dude. I guess it's a good thing the culture festival was cancelled. You would have gotten mauled no matter who you picked to go with. Hmm?
I don't think I ever told you about how things were before you joined. Seas originally started off with only three members. Back in middle school, I invited Akihiko to join, and Aragaki followed him soon after. We had no idea what we were doing back then. We were young, inexperienced, and we had almost no intel to work off of. We could barely even make it past the entrance to Tartarus back then. Actually exploring the tower like we're doing now was nothing more than a pipe dream. Even with all our shortcomings, we worked decently as a team. As peers, it was easy for us to connect, and the work was hard, but fulfilling. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not complaining about our current circumstances. We've discovered how to eliminate the Dark Hour, and we've since grown much stronger. However, after what happened in Yakushima, and with Aragaki rejoining, it's hard not to remember the old days. Maybe I'm so concerned about re-enrolling him in school because I'm still living in the past. Yes. Sometime after we started working as a team, we all came to an agreement. We promised we'd all graduate together. No one left behind. Akihiko was just as reckless back then, too. Our Gaki was always the one reminding him that our lives were at stake. Although his wording certainly wasn't quite so thoughtful. <laughs> it suits him, doesn't it? I guess you've gotten to know him well. Ever since he left the team, he's acted like he's wanted to punish himself. It's almost like he just wants to waste away. I'm hoping he'll remember his promise and take a step back and look at himself. That's why I gave you the paperwork to get him back in school. That was my last hope, but I suppose it didn't work out. I'll tell Akihiko myself. All right, I'll take this. I'll start on the process for extending his leave of absence. What's the matter? Oh, sure. What's wrong, though? Is it missing a page? I'll let you handle it then. Make sure to let Aragaki know as well. collection. Uh, please still be there. Come on. Wait. Vachini, they said our class's materials fee hasn't been paid yet. Yeah, I was totally getting grilled in the faculty office just now. All right, the money. I, um... I gave it to Mr. Takenozuka when he came to the office. You were the one responsible for that money, weren't you, Fushimi-san? That means you were the last one who saw it. Um, but I just told you. Well, the teacher told us we haven't paid yet. So doesn't that make this your fault? Um, uh... I think so too. 
too. I clearly remember giving the money to the teacher. It has to be some kind of mistake. Look, just make sure you take care of it, all right? I'm sure it's exciting to have that much money, but you better do something before everyone finds out. Don't worry. We won't tell anyone. They must think I stole the money. I I couldn't stand up to them, but I I, I didn't take anything. Y yes, you're right. We have to do something. I have to prove to everyone that it wasn't me. How do I do that? I'm certain I handed the money over. I'll just have to talk to Mr. Takanozuka about this. But what if he thinks I'm accusing him of stealing? Senpai, what should I do? expect you to solve everything this is my problem so I need to figure it out on my own bookworms I think I have to pass today sorry Should we wrap up for the night? <laughs> 